Freud's level of the human psyche include the id, ego, and superego. Id. The id encompasses the human unconscious that targets instinctual needs. Ego. The ego serves as a mediator between the id and the superego. Once fully developed, it understands the needs of others. Superego. The superego develops social and moral norms, partial consciousness, and a sense of guilt. Established by Anna Freud, defense mechanisms help to relieve the tensions that arise within oneself when the impulses of the id and the moralities of the superego clash. Shown below are a list of defense mechanisms that demonstrate the clashing between the two. Action means the attributions of one's own ideas, feelings, or attitudes towards other people or to objects especially the externalization of blame, guilt, and responsibility as a defense me mechanism against anxiety. Why should Caesar get to stomp around like a giant while the rest of us try not to get smushed under his big feet? What's so great about Caesar? Brutus is just as cute as Caesar. Okay, Brutus is just as smart as Caesar. People totally like Brutus just as much as they like Caesar. And when did it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Because that's not what Rome is about. We should totally just stab Caesar! Gretchen Wieners had cracked. As you can see, Gretchen Wieners is projecting her angry emotions onto her English class as she aggressively speaks about Caesar. Regina humiliated Gretchen, and as her defense mechanism, she is attributed her own undesirable thoughts and impulses onto others, her class. Those undesirable thoughts and feelings are then perceived as coming from someone else. Instead of dealing with her upset emotions, she releases and projects them onto others. Suppression is an unconscious defense mechanism in which the individual excludes unacceptable desires, thoughts, or memories from the mind. In the following video clip, taken from the movie John Tucker Must Die, we see a scenario in which a mom is very upset about constantly going through the routine of dating men who always wind up leaving her. Suppression is shown as she hides her feelings by resorting to binge eating chocolate frosting. She's doing this to force unwanted memories out of her awareness. It's happened so many times that my mom's developed a very mature reaction. A quick therapy session, or two, or three, and then we pack up the car and flee to another town. Displacement is an unconscious defense mechanism whereby the mind redirects effects from an object felt to be dangerous or unacceptable to an object felt to be safe or acceptable. In the next video clip, taken from the movie Anchorman, you will witness a scenario where the driver throws something out of his window, causing a motorcyclist to crash. Displacement is shown when the motorcyclist takes his anger out on the innocent dog that is standing nearby. Sit down because you are what, my little gentleman. This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Next up, we are going to show a clip from the movie Elf. It shows the main character, portrayed by Will Ferrell, as an elf named Buddy. Regression is another one of the defense me mechanisms identified by Freud. 
According to Freud, there are times when people are faced with situations that they can't deal with and protect, protect themselves by retreating to an earlier stage of development. In the scene from Elf, Will Ferrell's character, Buddy, meets a store manager. His character is convinced that Santa is real and he's coming to the store tomorrow, which clearly shows he's reverted back to an earlier behavior or belief before he grew up. He also does other childish things, saying that smiling's his favorite. In conclusion, Will Ferrell as Buddy the Elf is a perfect example of regression in that he continually acts like a little kid, although he's clearly a grown man. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling? I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. That's your favorite, okay? Okay. Work is your favorite. Fine. It's time for an announcement. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I know you. And be here to take pictures with all the children. Yeah. Just keep the receipts. 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Santa's coming to town. Yes. Oh, hi. Santa's coming Rationalization is the attribution of one's actions to rational and plausible reasons to avoid analysis of true and unconscious motives. In this scene from Pirates of the Caribbean, Captain Jack Sparrow rationalizes that he deserved to be slapped. Rather than examining why he was hit or why the ladies would want to slap him, he protects his ego and possibly the ladies by coming to this plausible yet shallow explanation. Scarlet. I'm not sure I deserve that. Giselle. Who was she? What? I may have deserved that. Denial is a psychological defense mechanism in which confrontation with a personal problem or with reality is avoided by denying the existence of the problem or reality. In the following clip from the movie The Devil Wears Prada, the main character, Andy, is going through denial as to why she's not doing well at work. She insists that she's been working her hardest and that her boss's high expectations are the real issue. But in reality, she's denying the fact that she is not putting in her hardest work. And that's my problem because... Oh, wait, no, no it's not I, my I problem. Really, I don't know what else I can do, because if I do something right, it's unacknowledged. She doesn't even say thank you. But if I do something wrong, she is vicious. So quit. What? Quit. What? I can get another girl to take your job in five minutes. One who really wants it. I, I, no, I don't want to quit. That's not fair. But I, you know, I'm just saying that I would just like a little credit for the fact that I'm killing myself trying. Oh, Andy, be serious. You are not trying. You are whining. What is it that you want me to say to me, huh? Do you want me to say poor you? Miranda's picking on you. Poor you, poor Andy. Hmm? Wake up, Six. She's just doing her job. Shardy's like a melody in my head that I can't keep Next up, we're going to show a clip from one of my favorite movies, Dumb and Dumber. The clip directly portrays intellectualization. This defense mechanism works to reduce anxiety by thinking about events in a cold, clinical way. It allows us to avoid thinking about the stressful, emotional aspect of the situation and instead focus only on the intellectual component. In this clip, Lloyd Christmas is asking the girl of his dreams what the chances of a guy like him getting with a girl like her. While most men would be turned away with her answer, Lloyd Christmas takes it in the most positive way possible. Watch this clip to see how it di directly portrays the defense mechanism intellectualization. Flat out, I want you to give me the honest answer. What do you think the chances are of a guy like you and a girl like me ending up together? 
Well, Lloyd, that's difficult to say, and we really don't... Hit me with it! Just give it to me straight! I came a long way just to see you, Mary. Just... The least you can do is level with me. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Everyone was on our side Then we grew a little And romanticized the time I saw flowers in your hair